Hi, in this video we'll cover Centrify Direct Audit and concepts of high availability. But first, what's Direct Audit? Direct Audit is part of Centrify Enterprise Edition. This is on-premise software that provides you with uh, session transcription, session capture and replay, and event consolidation. So what's the main problem that it addresses? As you can see here from this log file, there's going to be instances in which having just logs is not going to be enough. With Centrify Direct Control and Direct Authorize, it's very easy to see, for example, uh, when a user, um, their user's identity and what kind of actions they actually performed. But sometimes this is not enough, especially in instances in which people, for example, in Unix may SU the root, um, and from there we lose track of what they were doing. Same thing on Windows, right? This is a, an event generated by Centrify Direct Authorize for Windows. Notice in which a user was able to launch, the, launch this management. We effectively know what they did, but we don't know the context of what they did. And then there's the problem of high, uh, right of regulation, right? Some regulations like PCI, for example, in section 10, specify that you should be able to reproduce what somebody did. Also, there's da data breaches out there. Sometimes it requires organizations to have detectives on retainer just so they're able to get a hold of what exactly happened in a data breach. With Direct Audit, this is very simple. Uh, Direct Audit uses a backend database, SQL Server database, and uh, an agent that provides end-to-end -end recording. What this means is very simple, that um, you know anything that happens in an organization, as long as uh, Direct Audit is working, you're able to see. For example, I have this session here that I started this morning. If I look at the transcription here, notice first that I have, uh, you know, the username, the target machine, when it started, when it ended, and the client machine it was initiated from. So it's very easy to identify who did what. The next capability is session transcription. For example, this is session trans transcription on a um, Unix system, and this corresponds to what, what I was doing. Look at this piece here, for example, if I want to know what happened when this user edited the Etsy password file, all I need to do is to, you know, replay what the person did. And I have the ability to look at it in real time, or I can fast forward or rewind. I also have access to the transcription right here. And if needed, I could actually also um, export this to uh, different uh, file formats. This capability is also available on Windows. So in the case of Windows, notice my Windows sessions here. I have Tetsu right here. I can just take a look at the events that the user performed. I can just replay them just as if it was a movie. And this basically shows me exactly what the, the user did not just a bunch of events. So now, after we have established what uh, what it can do uh, from a, a capture and replay perspective, if you're using Direct Authorized, Direct Audit is a great way to consolidate events. For example, any events that I have performed, in this case today, have been consolidated and documented. These are all the commands that I launched, not only in the context of Windows, but also in the context of Unix and Linux. These are the users, and this is the type of events. Again, Direct Audit is a step up from log aggregation. This doesn't mean that Direct Audit is a substitute for log aggregation. Uh, you still need that capability, especially because of all the correlations that can be done. So now, we, now that we know that what the Direct Audit can do, Let's now find out about the things that um, we need to t keep into consideration when, uh, when we're talking about high availability. Direct Audit is a multi-tier system. What it means is that it has the agent, intermediate window systems called collectors, and the database components. So it's a, uh, basically, at a simple case, it's a, it's a three-tier system. And it does allow you, at the agent level, to have a spooling caching. That means that if the Windows machine or the Linux machine cannot communicate with a collector, it will use a spooler 
to effectively uh, audit offline. Collectors are really cool because they allow you to uh, perform load balancing and failover. And collectors look, look at Active Directory sites and services to understand the scope of, of what they need to cover. Then you can have different audit stores that may have different retention policies. For example, you may have a finance audit store that because of SOX, you have, you're bound by five years of uh, retention data. But you may have an ops um, audit store that perhaps only needs three months. And finally, you may have an European Union audit store. And in this case, perhaps because it is not, not kosher in the European Union, you don't want to um, record video data of users' activities. I hope this explains what um, Direct Audit can do and how it's architected. And now let's take a look at how it provides um, high availability.